my ooey gooey matzo magic bars. Okay, I'll start by building my crust, which is matzo meal based. Typically with magic bars, it's a graham cracker base, but that's a no-no on Passover. So I'll sprinkle one cup into the bottom of my nine inch square pan and I'll sweeten it with three tablespoons of sugar and a pinch of salt. This is kind of like a matzo meal pie crust. And to bring it all together, I'll drizzle it with half a cup of melted coconut oil. And this is the unrefined stuff, so you get that coconutty flavor. Passover is a really tough holiday if you're not into coconut because there's a lot of coconut on Passover. I'll give this a gentle stir so that the coconut oil and the matzo meal can combine, and then I'll pack it down to create my base layer. Around here, any dessert that is baked in a pan and then cut into squares is lumped into this big delicious category of bars. They're a staple at potlucks and parties. Everyone loves them. This is simply a Passover version of bars. Hey Marge, I'm gonna bring the bars. That's how you say it. Oak and oak. For my second layer, I'll sprinkle on some dried cherries, which are awesome because they bring that tart sourness to an otherwise very sweet bar. And next, a good layer of chocolate chips. I'm using a combination of dark chocolate, rainbow, and peanut butter chips. And this is part of the true magic because when the chocolate melts and then firms back up, they'll help the bars stay together. Peanut butter chips are the way to go. I've got these fun rainbow chips too. They'll be really pretty and springy. These are easy to get online, or you could omit them and use more peanut butter or chocolate chips too. Okay, I'll make sure these spread all the way to the edge. I'll sprinkle on some chopped pistachios for that nutty crunch. Some shredded coconut. I like these big flakes, they're so pretty. And this is unsweetened coconut. There's coconut in three forms in these bars. There's the shredded, there's the coconut oil, and now there's the last layer, which is the sweetened condensed coconut milk, which is the sweet sticky glue that holds it together. Before I drizzle this on, I'll add a splash of vanilla for more flavor. I'm gonna do it right in the can, because again, no dirty dishes here. I'll stir this in to incorporate. I think my father-in-law, Roger, is gonna appreciate these the most. He's the real sweet tooth of the family, the sugar farmer, go figure. I'll pour this evenly over the top of the bars now, making sure to get a good distribution throughout. That is some kosher for Passover gooeyness right there. I love sweet and condensed coconut milk. Mm. Yum. All right. These will go in the oven at 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until the coconut is golden and the bars are set. I can't wait. I'm gonna get my bars out. Ooh, those look gooey and good. Okay, while they're still sticky, I'll sprinkle them with the final layer. Just a few sprinkles. It's spring. It's colorful. Give them a spring sprinkle shower. Okay, done. They look beautiful. I'll let these cool completely in the pan and then chill them in the fridge for an hour before slicing into squares. Get a load of these bars. Mmm, mmm. They're sweet and chewy, and the salty crunch from those pistachios is awesome. I am plagued with tastiness right now. 